Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We will continue on with our Starfield playthrough. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and comment on the channel. Let's continue. We'll have the whole ah, settled systems on recruit. the run someday. So, now that we are all here, it's time to get down to business. The two of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. The rest, well, let's just say they won't be joining us ever again. Neighbor's willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you, which means you've got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. You'd better not disappoint, or you'll find yourself answering to me, personally. All right, let's get started here. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. No one quits. No one retires. The only way out is death. You stay loyal or you pay the consequences. Fleet before friends. Fleet before family. Fleet before yourself. Boss. <laughs> Good. You're getting it already. I like that. Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the last Nova. I'm impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. Since you two seem so eager to move forward, let's get to your next job. Pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. Where we are going, you're going to need it. Oh, God, don't tell me you're dragging him down to Suvaral for another one of your little initiation runs. Ten Johns to the surface, twelve dead Rooks. You'd think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story. Crix's legacy is no story, neighbor. We've got fresh eyes in the fleet. And if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, as Neva calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. On Suvorov with Jasper Griggs. Griggs led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. And if his legacy is still out there, we're going to be the ones to find it. Before Griggs left the fleet, he left a message talking about a major score. One that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crixis Legacy. And everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty-handed, missing, or dead. If we're gonna beat those odds, we'll first need a lead. And I would wager we will find one on Subarov. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. Crix left a lot of big talk on that recording. And not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. <laughs> Don't listen to her. When we get our hands on Crix's legacy, the fleet will be operating at a completely different level. We will become more than a match for UC Sistef. Exactly. Now you're beginning to understand. Okay, enough discussion. We have got a lot of work to do. To that end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, Rook. Don't keep me waiting. Beaker. Here to upgrade that ship of yours? Hey, champ. I'm including this month's list of parts I need for the key. Don't bust a gut. It's hefty, but I know you can handle it. I'm gonna need a lot more than usual this time. I'm planning to overhaul the entire electrical system before it completely Smuggling shorts out. Smuggling beats a real job oh, any yeah. day. Thanks for sending over the key's reactor specs. I can't tell you exactly why I needed those. Dell said to keep it hush-hush. As far as next month's shipment, start scrounging up some parts so I can spruce up our defensive batteries. They're looking kind of rusty. Well, I guess that's it for now. I'll have my people in New Atlantis drop off the payment at the spaceport. Just make sure you aren't being followed. We wouldn't want the UC to know they're providing replacement parts to the Crimson Fleet. 
About time you got here. I told you you were wasting your time, Del. Yeah? We will see. And Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. You got that? <laughs> Fine. All right. Listen up, because I am only going to go through this once. We are here to dig up any info about Grix's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. Whatever you pick up, don't think, don't get creative, bring it straight to me. It's <laughs> so simple, even a rook like you can't screw it up. Hold on, no scrapping? How the hell am I supposed to make money around here? All right, that's enough. If either of you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet, then you need to follow one simple rule. When you're on a job, you do exactly what I say. No questions asked. If that doesn't work for you, just say so, and I will leave you on this ice ball without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving. Here we are. The place where Jasper Griggs laid the groundwork for finding the legacy, and eventually, the Crimson Fleet. The Lock. Yeah, he needs to get this thing open like, right now. It's freezing out here. Then crank up your suit heat, Mathis, because it's probably not going to get much better once we are inside. All right, let's keep moving. Standing out here isn't doing us any good. This ID card cost a small fortune. Let's hope it pays off. <laughs> we are in. Let's go. First time I have been inside this part of the lock, so keep your eyes open. See anything unusual? Call it out. If it's hostile, take it down. Couldn't be simple. How many people did the UC stick down here, Dal? A couple of hundred at least. Might not look like much, but it was better than trying to survive on the surface. Much better. Even with the heating on, this place looks like a goddamn dump. 
Now you know why the prisoners got fed up and looked to Griggs to lead them out of here. And that's how the Crimson Fleet began. Yeah, yeah, we've all heard the story. It's not a story, Mathis. It's history. Remember that. Now, keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. Must be a nest. I bet these things are crawling all over the place. Yeah, and their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. If we weren't on this job with Delgado, I'd drop you for saying that. Enough already! I should have known better than to bring both of you at the same time. Now let's see. Looks like we are inside some sort of prisoner transfer area. But everything is locked down tight. Since you are such good friends, why don't you and Mathis head up to that control room and see if you can get some more of these doors open? and rock must be several meters thick. God damn it, we're cut off. Hey, Dell. Can you hear me? Dell. 
Shit. There's no way we're getting through here. Well, this is just great. The hell are we supposed to do now? Whew. Yeah. You're right. Now that I think about it, this gives me an idea. A, a way we could turn this situation to our advantage. We use this opportunity to take out Delgado, and at the same time, make some serious credits for ourselves. Whoa, whoa, hang on. G g give me a second to explain. Let's pretend for a second Delgado's correct. And there's information here about Crix's legacy. Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves and sell whatever we find to Neva. We'll be rolling in credits. Oh, fine. Suit yourself. You know, for a second there, I was almost starting to respect you. Now, let's find a way out of here. I guess that's one way through. I'm not going anywhere. And second, try and dig up whatever you can about Jasper Griggs. You both got that? Yeah? You'd better. And tell Mathis not to get any bright ideas, or I will gut him myself. Lockdown mode has been rescinded. Looks like there's a guard tower overlooking the cell block. We should check it out.
So, have you changed your mind yet? Yeah, right. You saw it back there. Those things, whatever they were, they've probably ripped him to shreds by now. Did the job for us. And if they haven't, we can still handle the job. We just have to get our hands a little dirty. Wouldn't be the first time, am I right? Of all the people to get trapped here with, why the hell did I get stuck with you, huh? Fine, have it your way. So, now that we've made it to the guard tower, what's our next move, genius? Keep doing what we've been doing. Right. <laughs> Glad I asked. I suppose we should start off by searching the tower for the location of Crix's cell. If he stashed any useful information, it might still be hidden somewhere inside. Cell D03118. Okay. It's a place to start, I guess. Through, right to the armory. Carter 
mention that the security keeps rotating codes on all the terminals in the lock, so we'll have to coordinate this carefully. For now, we'll continue using his locker in the showers area as a drop point for the code to the utility closet. By this time next month, I should be out of this dump and uploading those creds into my account. Delgado was right. Cricks must have hit the Galbang transport and stashed away the money or something. But we played this right. We're gonna be filthy sticking rich in no time. hearing things.
Was this an armory? Looks like they cleared this place out. Well, well, what do we have here? Uh, give me a sec. This sort of come in handy. things are crawling right behind the walls. Ugh. Looks like this was the warden's office. They built the office right next to it. The shuttle bay. For quick escapes, I bet. <laughs> Smart. Finally, I was about to give up. Pick up on the intercom. I hope you found something because I am getting sick and tired of this place. I knew it! Everyone said I was out of my mind! 
but something told me we'd find the answers down here. Looks like I picked the right person for the job. Hey, what the hell? This is bullshit, Delgado. I help plenty. Is that Mathis? Tell him to shut up. I will deal with him later. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Now all we have to do is find a way off of this planet. Um, let me see. Ah, here we go. I'm looking at schematics for the lock. And I don't think there's a way to get you back to the surface from there. But I can open the outer doors to the shuttle bay and let you fly one of the shuttles down there directly up to the key. Don't worry about your ship. I will send some people down to get it. You just get your ass on that shuttle and get out of here. Good answer. You're learning fast. Okay. Let me see. One of these probably opens the door. Shuttle bay activated. Initiating the icing process. Please stand by. Yup. That's got it. Might take a while, though. Those bay doors have not been opened in almost a century. You have done a hell of a job, Rook. We will talk when you get back to the key. Why the hell did you lie to Delgado about me? You didn't do all this work alone. Hey, come on. I was just looking out for both of us. I could have caught you out of the deal, but I didn't, right? Look, um, about all that killing Delgado stuff, why don't we just forget about everything that I said? You know, like it never happened. Yeah, yeah, of course, don't worry, I'm good for it. Now, let's get the heck out of here. Warden Tom Gillespie. Authorization 12210. This is likely to be my final log recording. The riots that started in D block have spilled into A, B, and C blocks. I've ordered everyone to fall back to the shuttle bay for evacuation. It was the prisoner D03118, Jasper Cricks, who led the revolt. His crew tunneled into the armory undetected. And then all hell broke loose. If the lock is recovered, I urge the UC authorities to perform a full investigation. This Kriggs undoubtedly had help from the guards and the staff. I'm now heading to my personal escape shuttle and... We'll try to jump out of the system. Wish me luck. Warden Gillespie, out.
There you are. The hell took you so long? It's about time. I was about to fly down and loot your bodies. Not now, Neva. Well, you said you found something. Hand it over. That's it? Just one slate. After losing so much of our crew, it better be a map with a big red X on it. Well, I'll be damned. Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A gal bank transport probably loaded with credits. Never heard any stories about a gal bank ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. No, neighbor. Think. If Galbank covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten, it wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Okay, this changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search. Well, that is not necessarily true. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbank ship, which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a big wig charity event on one of Trident's Starliners? Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. Ay, Dios mío. Will you shut up about your score and think for a second? That Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite aboard. Which means... Come on, Neva. This isn't hard. Which means a Gal Bank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Gal Bank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. I'll send a message to Rokov right away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy when Rokov screws everything up as usual. Good, because that is exactly what you are going to be doing. Neva and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. I need you to board that ship, make contact with Rokov, and get me those credentials. You'd better. Oh, before you leave, I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration and I've decided to cut him from the fleet. Honestly, I'm surprised he made it off Suvorov in one piece. We'll see. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rokov Starliner, the Siren of the Stars. And remember, Rokov does not need to know anything about Grix's legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook. Before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Mathis. Hey, I want to talk to you. Thanks to you, Delgado's cut me from the fleet. Well, you know what? You better get your own fleet, because I'm coming after you. I see. You think you're some kind of big shot, is that it? Gonna show poor Mathis a little mercy now that you're Delgado's best buddy, yeah? Well, guess what? Your generosity is getting me kicked off the key. And that means you better watch your back. Oh, I will, I can promise you that. Best part is, you won't even see it coming. Now get the hell out of me way! Dale sees you slacking. There you are. All right, look. 
I've been lining up a score with that asshole roll call from the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. I'm about to tell you, so shut up and listen. Rokov's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called the Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the Siren, swiping those Galbate credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. To blow your heads off and serve the guts as sushi. Now, I buy a drink or get the hell out of the way. From the pictures I've seen, the award is set with 12 blue diamonds and covered in gold filigree. If I get Jazz to take it apart, I can turn it into a hell of a lot of cash. And best of all, the components become untraceable. And I'd prefer to have the money that award's worth in my account. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? Then it's settled. Good. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the siren and bring me my goods. Hit me up if you got questions. I bet operations on the key are a clown show. I'm looking forward to your report. Back. So how did it go? Then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? Legacy. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Well, we can solve that little mystery in about ten seconds. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a gal bank transport named the Legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because Galbank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, then he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Crix was clever. For some reason, he never got there. It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. You're both dismissed. Anything new to report? Hmm. Glad to hear it. Let's see what you got. It's amazing that all this romantic nonsense about Crix's legacy really just amounts to a rumor Jasper Crix picked up in jail. It just goes to show you how a tiny rumor can snowball into a full-blown fairy tale. Have any more? 
I'll be damned. So some of the UC guards at the lock helped touch off the riots. Everyone thought he was some kind of legendary criminal mastermind, but even the great Jasper Cricks needed a helping hand to get out of prison. Any other fragments? Yeah, you're right. But there's no way this was a solo job. Shifting all those parts takes serious manpower. I'll send this to Mast so they can shake the tree a bit, see what falls out. Looks like Durand better start looking for parts somewhere else. Anything else? Okay, fine, fine. <laughs> I know there's more out there, so keep on it. I'll be here if you have any more questions. Okay, hello. Alright everyone, this concludes this particular episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Later.